the people that live and work around here who have to put up with this all the time. I could spend all day, two hours, three hours with you now, walking around the streets, <coughs> showing you where injecting happens. You could walk down any of these side streets, any of these laneways and alleyways, and you'll see injecting equipment. And it's everywhere. We'll walk down a little bit further down the street here and we'll see a place where it's frequented in terms of people using drugs. It's a very public thing here and despite saturation policing, it's as bad today as it's been for the last 10-15 years. We're not making any progress. In fact, what we find is, is that when the police come down and they hit the streets hard, it pushes the issue to other areas. It displaces it, we get people ringing, complaining in, in new areas where there aren't services available. I'll go over to somewhere like this. And you can see people have been shooting up in here. There's a syringe just there in the corner. There's wrappers. There's, this has been pretty much used extensively today. It's full. It's going to be disposed of. This is why we need a supervised injection facility because people should not have to do this. This is. Um, unclean, it's uh, unhygienic. Imagine bringing your family in here when you're going shopping or going to a restaurant and you go to the toilet and this is what you find. This is what people find that come in off the streets. They find this in a public toilet. And that's also an HIV and other STD Oh yeah, blood on viruses, well. hepatitis C, HIV, you know, this is, this is how people get um, infected through this type of um, activity.